Hello and welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and today we've got I'm gonna call I can't call it a hot sauce review because it's not it's a barbecue sauce so God knows where I'm gonna put this on my channel what section probably gonna go under food reviews or I might just whack it under hot sauce reviews anyway so we have Skeeter's original barbecue sauce, darn good sauces, darn fine taste, it's cookout time. My poor attempt at American accent, but there we go. Skeeter's shopping in my usual place and came across this and thought, give it a give, got to like a bit of barbecue sauce on my wings, on my ribs. So it's a 350ml bottle. We'll go through the American style original barbecue flavour sauce. So we've got water, tomato paste, sugar, glucose, fructose, molasses, beautiful taste, spirit vinegar, smoked dextrose, mustard water, mustard seeds, spirit vinegar. There's a lot of ingredients in here by the way, lads and lasses. Turmeric powder, smoked salt, smoked onion powder, garlic powder, rapeseed oil colour caramel, black pepper, paprika powder, sorbic acid, smoke flavouring, acidity regulated, citric acid, cayenne pepper and ground clove and cinnamon. I've got a feeling this is going to be tasty. It's made specifically, specially produced for Aldi. Best before... Yeah, it's... It's not going to be spicy, it's not going to be hot because it's got a bit of cayenne pepper in there, but I'm going to crack it open anyway. Break the seal as you can see. We haven't had an amateur hour for a while. I'll say that next time, I'm probably going to uh, break down. So yeah, Skeeter's barbecue sauce. Saw it, picked it up, thought yeah, not a bad one, we'll go. So we're going to Whack it on the spoon. Oh, Jesus, come out quite quick. You can smell the tomatoes straight up and the smoked paprika. But it smells like an uh, average barbecue sauce, so I'm going to give it a go. Tomato flavour. Very thick. Tasty. You get the aftertones, a little bit of the onion powder and the cum um, cumin, sorry. That's quite nice. Obviously no heat, zero heat, but I wasn't expecting any anyway. But if you're having a burger, you're having chicken wings or you're having some skewers on a barbecue, glaze a bit of that over, carry on on fat on the fire, turning, turning, glaze a bit more, that'd be lovely, absolutely lovely. Darn good sauces, darn fine taste, Skeeter's original barbecue, not bad for a shop but not bad, you can't really knock it. We'll have a drink one more I think, it's always good when you go for a second, but strong tomato taste. Very thick, very nice, probably six or seven. But yeah, if you're having a barbecue, bank on the weekend or throughout the summer season, grab yourself a bowl, it'd be great on a burger, or a chicken burger, normal burger, any type of barbecue food. Stick it on your corn on the cob, give it a bit of a barbecue flavor. But yeah, very nice. Another good one from our favourite supermarket, Mr. Alde. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed this review. It's a, it's a, it's a basic. It is what it is. It's an original basic barbecue sauce, but it's a good one. Be good on a hot dog with some onions, a bit of chilli, a bit of this. Oh, making my mouth water now. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed my review of Skeeter's original barbecue sauce. Grab yourself a bottle, put it in the cupboard, ready for summer. It'll go perfect on a barbecue. Kids would love it, absolutely love it, because there's no spice, there's no 
heat, there's no power to it. It's just a basic, basic barbecue sauce and the kids have gone mad for it. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will be back very, very soon for more reviews, recipes, and challenges. Peace!